go back 80 years ago in world history and think about what would have happened if nations had come together to see collaborative solutions with global peace as the ultimate goal in mind after the Treaty of Versailles. We might have saved about 50 million people from a torturous death. And a hundred years ago, think about what would have happened if nations had peacefully negotiated and fixed their disputes. We would have saved about another 30 million people in World War I. Also, think about the amount of money and technology invested in order to win wars, instead of investing it in combating world hunger, reducing fatal diseases, and providing education. That contribution could have led to peace and harmony for the following years. One and a half years from now, February of 2017, marks the 15th anniversary of signing the Treaty of Tlatelolco, the Treaty for the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons in Latin America and the Caribbean, which my country, Mexico, is a part of. I am very, very proud of my country for this. We as future leaders strive to collaborate towards peace, and we think that it's the most successful way to solve any conflict. We are determined to educate all people that every life counts, and no government should teach their people otherwise by their actions. Let's hold hands and work together to create a much safer world.